Welcome to this video for introduction to application control. We will be discussing in particular overlap and boundary control as it relates to application control. So what we're going to do, I've got a Pro 700 for display set up here running with an early riser planner. I'm going to navigate to toolbox and then I'm going to go to the overlap tab. So within this tab, we have overlap control, and that is configurable to on or off. So when overlap control is on, this determines whether the implement uses overlap control for work in progress. And when that's turned on, I have this percent overlap configuration down here, and it is configurable from 1 to 99%. So imagine a section that is 100 inches wide. If my percent overlap is set to 99%, when 99 inches of that 100 inch section get into an overlap condition, that section will turn off. If I were to change this to 50, when 50 inches of that 100 inch section get into an overlap condition, then that section will turn off. The default is 99 for percent overlap. I also have boundary control which is on or off. Boundary control determines whether the implement uses automatic boundary control for the current work in progress. And for boundary control, I have this percent out of bounds configuration. Again, configurable from one to 99%. And again, determines what percentage of a section has to be outside of a recorded boundary in order for that section to turn off. The default is 1%. So again, using our 100 inch section example, if one inch of that 100 inch section goes outside of a recorded boundary, then that section will turn off. If this is set to 50, then when 50 inches of that section goes outside of that recorded boundary, then it will turn off. So good thing to keep in mind if you are working with a boundary that you absolutely cannot apply product outside of, for instance, with herbicides and pesticides, then we would want to make sure that we have this configured accordingly. And again, the default is 1%. Also on this screen, you will see start early distance. Start early configures when the product control or when the drives will turn on. So if I want to intentionally start applying product or applying seed, early, I can configure a distance from 0 to 25 feet. So if I were to, for instance, put in one and a half feet for start early, then I'm going to start applying product one and a half feet early, like when I'm exiting a headland area and entering an area that is not yet applied, I will be applying product one and a half feet before I exit that headland area. My stop late distance determines when the drives, when I will stop applying product or when the drives will turn off. So if I am leaving a applied area and entering a headland, for instance, the drives will stay on for that designated distance. So if I were to put a one and a half foot stop late distance, I would continue putting down product one and a half feet into the headland or into the previously applied area. And then the other configuration that we're going to cover in this video is product delay. So for 2000 series planners, product delay is found in work condition control. I'm in the control tab, and you'll see product delay is found here. So in your software operating guide, you will find where to find product delay depending on what implement that you're working with. And in the software operating guide, you will find formulas for calculating product delay. But what product delay does is determines the amount of time of lag there is between when the command is sent for product to be applied and when that product actually hits the ground. So for instance, with a planner, that product delay would be the time from when the command is sent to start applying seed to when that seed actually exits the drop tube and gets to the ground. For 2000 series planners, they have 
an electric drive and that product delay is very short. So you see here it defaults 2.05 seconds. However, for liquid application, that product delay time might be a little longer. And again, there is formulas for how to calculate that product delay found in software operating guides. And that concludes everything that we'll cover for this video. Thank you for your attention.